All right, so let's move on to the next side, which is example four. So we are trying to graph y equals two times the cosecant of x plus pi over four. All right, so let's first think about what our sine graph is and then we can do the cosecant. So y equals two times the sine of x plus pi over four. Now it's something that looks familiar to us. We had a quiz on this. So let's first start by finding b. So I know b is my coefficient of x, so that's one. So my period would be two pi divided by one, so it's two pi. My period interval is gonna be two pi divided by four. So my intervals are gonna go by pi over two. So I need to figure out this value of c is gonna shift my graph. So I'm gonna set it equal to my regular period, which is zero, and then x plus pi over four and then two pi. So here I get x equals negative pi over four, and here I get x equals, what would that be? Equals four pi over two minus pi over four, which is three. Mm, sorry, brain fart. Okay, so eight pi over four minus pi over four. So that would equal seven pi over four. Sorry about that. So our interval here, negative pi over four is the start of our cycle and it'll our cycle will end at seven pi over four. All right, so now we can graph. So I know I'm starting at negative pi over four and I'm going by intervals of pi over two. So pi over two would bring me up pi over four. So that makes my x-axis right here. So this is one, I'm adding pi over two each time, which is the same as two pi over four. So this would be three pi over four, five pi over four, and seven pi over four, which is where our cycle ends, right? So I know I'm graphing the sine, sine starts at zero, and then I'm gonna multiply my values by two. So sine starts at zero, zero times two is zero. It would go to one next, one times two is two, then zero times two is zero. It would be at negative one times two is negative two, and then back at zero. So here is my sine graph. So now I'm thinking, all right, so where are my um, asymptotes? So I need to think, all right, so what values is sine zero? Because it's gonna be one over the sine of x plus pi over four. So my asymptotes would be at negative pi over four, three pi over four, and seven pi over four. So my cosecant graph is gonna go up like this because my asymptotes will go all the way up. And then it'll go down on this side. And there you go. 